here we are at our Essendon job uh, another custom home being built with a fairly large basement um, this in previous um, videos we just thought uh, this would be a good opportunity to see the shock creek wall going in uh, in situ rather and rather than trying to explain how it all works so here we have um, the concrete which is actually sprayed onto the wall and then troweled off as this guy is doing over here and um, and and to a nice smooth finish and as you can see over the other side there that's just been sprayed and the guys will slowly work their way around and smooth it all off and that'll be the finished um, the finished texture of the wall once it's all dried um, and, and form the, um, the both the internal skin of the basement and also the retaining wall of the soil next door which is retaining all this area along here and uh, uh, along the back here along the back here uh, the next uh, next next stage here will be to put in our drainage and then our basement floor and then lastly there'll be a, um, a another form of retaining wall going along this this boundary here uh, which we'll show in later videos so until the next inspection if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact Renmark Homes uh, your experts in basement construction Uh, good afternoon guys we're here at our Essendon job uh, another basement that we're working on uh, and then just uh, just to quickly explain the next stage uh, of the basement is actually putting in the car park in this slab here um, the, the, the engineers actually specified a, a, a full-blown uh, residential uh, house slab so you can see the boys working away down here uh, these are what we call the pads so they're the uh, trenches which will be filled up with steel and these are the pads which the concrete will then go on top of and uh, screed it off to leave a nice level floor. Uh, if we have a look down here, the next part um, before the steel goes in is to wrap all this uh, in plastic uh, and which is uh, currently being done and then we'll place the steel, we'll have another uh, inspection uh, that'll get passed and then the boys will come in and actually pour it and that'll actually then form the uh, car park for this basement. Uh, as we look around here, see these little squares in the walls? There's actually still beams that are going to be connected to that and they'll um, brace with a retaining wall which is coming in along here, which I'll show you in the next video. And that'll be the actual floor for the house above. And once that's actually in, uh, the basement uh, will in effect be complete and the house will then start construction as a standard two-storey home uh, going above. So uh, on Friday, which is two days from now, this will be poured and we'll have a, um, a finished concrete slab which you can walk on and pretty much on the uh, home stretch uh, of the basement construction. Uh, once again, any questions, speak to uh, regarding basement construction or any custom home building, feel free to give us a call or visit our website uh, www.renmarkhomes.com.au. Thank you, till next time. Cheers. be an opportune time just to show you a new product which is uh, gaining popularity in the basement construction area where um, a, we use now a, a preformed plastic uh, void uh, which is called a din cell wall and it basically is a series of uh, plastic or PVC channels which slot into the lock with each other and uh, create a void which is filled with steel and concrete and, uh, and actually becomes an in-situ uh, retaining wall. So here we can see the ramp wall and in particular the back side of the wall which is the, um, you see the Aggie drain. Now traditionally if this was a block wall this, would, this area here would have to be waterproofed but because this is PVC it's already waterproofed so we're only really relying now needing to put in the Aggie drain and scoria to drain any excess water that may seep down to the bottom of this wall. Uh, if you look at the top of the wall uh, just quickly you'll see the steel and the void all the way down and it's um, uh, this uh, that gives it its strength once it's filled with concrete if we walk down into the basement <clears throat> it's 
So walking down the ramp, it's been pretty rainy here, so it's a bit soggy and slippery, but all good. So we walk down into the ramp, the uh, shotcrete walls here, the concrete slab or the basement slab is in now, which is all part of previous videos. And then there's the actual uh, din cell walls that um, are on the uh, inside uh, of this basement, and that's the finished wall. So you'll see here, each uh, line is one panel which is interlocked into the next one, or if you have a look at them on the ground, um, there they are there. So your steel runs through these holes and your concrete fills that up and it creates one strong uh, in situ wall. The benefit for this, it's not particularly cheap, but the speed that this goes up is, really cuts the uh, work down from, um, from you know, weeks down to a matter of days. And the beauty is that it's a nice, neat, clean product on the inside of the basement, so it doesn't need painting or rendering or anything like that. Uh, these props will be in position here until the concrete cures, which is about two weeks after it's poured. And as we walk along, uh, I'll just show you the quick intersection between the traditional uh, shotcrete wall and the din cell wall, uh, which is basically a weak spot from a waterproofing perspective. So this junction here um, uh, has got a fair bit of detailing behind it with uh, waterproofing compounds to stop any seepage getting in in this uh, weak spot. You may ask why this building is half din cell and half uh, shotcrete and the simple answer is that the shotcrete section is very close to the boundary so it needs to have the board piers go in first uh, to protect the neighbours and the same at the rear. This din cell wall is actually in the backyard of the house so there's no um, no real uh, no slippage or undercutting of an adjoining property so we can get away with this type of wall um, and then finally if you have a look uh, this is the pretty much the finished basement before the lid goes on or what we call um, putting our joists in across the top here and then our floor and then uh, and then the traditional two-story construction above that so once again um, thank you for tuning in uh, any questions you may have regarding basement construction or any other type of custom home or dual occupancy development uh, go to our website and uh, drop us an inquiry and we'll be happy to assist thanks again and see you till next time